Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at Whirlwind's Line Balancer Splitter. In past videos, we've looked at direct boxes and passive transformer isolated microphone splitters to see how they work. So what about when we have a line level signal that we need to split, isolate, or balance? The line balancer splitter will accept a balanced or unbalanced line level signal, either on the XLR or the quarter inch tip ring sleeve input. They even label the pin out of the quarter inch jack for easy troubleshooting in the field. On the output side, we have two modes of operation, along with ground lift switches for each output that work in all modes. With the button out, we have one transformer isolated output on the white XLR, with the black XLR being a non-isolated direct output. With the selector button engaged, we switch over to both outputs being split from the transformer. Uh, this results in a 6 dB loss in signal reference to the input. So let's take this one apart and see what's going on inside. If you like the videos on this channel, one of the best ways to support the channel without spending any extra money is to follow the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for doing that. It makes a big difference. Now this is also a passive unit requiring no batteries or other power supply to operate. So we're not going to find much in here other than a nice transformer and a pretty fancy switch. And they've made a nice PCB here and used right angle PCB mount XLR jacks to hold everything in place. You can see the input coming in on the pins and corresponding traces on the right side. And we see the ground wires going out to the lift switches here and then onto the PCB switch and direct outputs. We then have our signal taken to the transformer input as well as to the switch for the direct output when selected. After that, you can see the various outputs from the transformer going to the isolated XLR output as well as to the switch to be sent to the direct XLR output when the split button is engaged. Now I'll pull this PCB out by removing a few screws along with the chassis mount XLRs. A typical use for this box would be when you have a line level signal such as a program feed that needs to be split to various destinations maybe for monitoring. It could be an input of a program signal into an intercom system or a reference feed to another location. But in either case, we would need to keep the various systems isolated from one another and the main system. Additionally, it's very handy when you need to either balance uh, and or isolate an otherwise unbalanced signal operating at line level that needs to connect to other gear, or even just to use this box as a ground lift switch uh, using the direct out for eliminating grounding issues when those pop up. So you can see it's a very simple board with the XLR and quarter inch inputs, the XLR output and the fancy switch. I really like these types of switches. They're very simple, they're completely passive, and they have a simple piece of plastic that when you engage the switch, in this case it's a yellow piece of plastic, it appears in the clear window and lets you know even in a dark production environment whether or not that switch is engaged, all without any power. You can see the transformer here a little bit, and it's worth mentioning that Whirlwind makes their own transformers for these units. They make some really nice transformers in-house, and oftentimes the cost of the transformer alone is well worth the price of what you'll pay for one of these boxes on the used market. This unit uses their TRSP600L transformer, which the best price I could find online for just that is around $45. I purchased this entire box for only $20 on eBay a few years ago. We'll have a quick look here again at the piece PCB up close, and you can pause here for a moment if you want and trace the signal path from the input on the top right over to the switch, into the transformer, and onto the outputs. Uh, you can see most of that in this shot. Like many of Whirlwind's utility boxes, it's such a simple design to look at in its finished form. I have boxes from other companies like Radial that I love to use, but there's something about Whirlwind's engineering that I've always enjoyed. So that's it at our quick look of Whirlwind's Line Balancer Splitter, a very handy tool and one that's always worth having at least one of in your bag on a gig. I'm sure there'll be lots of great questions about this type of splitter and the transformers and all that. And if you're looking for more information on transformers and this kind of stuff, uh, check out the description below the link to the website, dcsoundop.com. There'll be a post related to this video with links to a couple of great white papers from Jensen, Whirlwind, and any other resources I can find that will help you further your uh, exploration into the world of transformers and splitting line level signals. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like the videos on this channel, one of the best ways to support the channel without spending any extra money is to follow the affiliate links in the description below. You don't have to buy those products, but as you shop on those sites, uh, it will help to support the channel a little bit and it really does help. So thanks again for doing that. It makes a big difference.